Hello, everybody. This is Hollywood Matt Connolly with the Double Biceps. It is in the contract. It is a legal requirement every time we appear on camera. I am joined by the co-host, the co-founder, the co-breather of air in this very room itself. It is, in fact, winner of the Dave Stockbridge of the Year Award. It's Dave, the man at Stockbridge. And our special guest today is uh, none other than one of the uh, local, one of the best fighters, MMA fighters in South Australia and, and hopefully to, to improve his ranks to be one of the best in australia it is joe the vanilla gorilla brown not judge joe brown it is <laughs> <laughs> welcome to show coming off a couple of big wins in your last couple of fights we saw uh, at the diamondback fighting championship i see you've got the cardio flex jumper there you're representing with yep. craig ike uh, running the uh, the gym there so yeah uh, it, it's great to have you on the show thank you for coming me. in thanks for having me yeah. And, and Joe, you was just saying before, like, um, you know, uh, Joe Brown is such a generic name and uh, you just had some difficulties whilst you're on holidays. Just somebody said, oh, just give us your Facebook. And, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to find. It sucks. I've been through so many last names, but Brown's the <laughs> – it's tough. There's, if I could rob a bank and get my real name <laughs> and they'd be like – we, we need Not more. Today, buddy. We need more. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, what's your real name? Come on. Like John Smith. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> and and how did you how did the vanilla gorilla part of that all come about? Um, I think it was well when I so my coach gave it to me. Craig, yes. Um I walked I was in the gym and we were doing there was a fighter circuit. I wasn't a fighter yet, but I was training, I was doing the conditioning that they were doing. And we're doing box jumps, and I was like when I first joined the MMA gym, I was like 105 kilos of just muscle. Yeah. I'd been bodybuilding for three years, I think, and I'd just blown up. And, um, yeah, he just said, Vanilla Gorilla. I laughed. <laughs> Everyone else cheered. I was like, oh, God. <laughs> and, no. and then um, instead of calling me Joe, he calls me Vanilla Gorilla. So and I'm, and I'm stuck with it. And and what what brought you to cardio flex in the first place? What what kind of after weight training you were obviously pretty serious mm, uh, um, into into building muscle and I trained Muay Thai when I was fourteen mm -hmm. for about a year and then um, oh, I may as well start from the beginning. So um, love good origin. We'll go way back. Yeah. <laughs> so mum met dad <laughs> she worked out. and that's how i met your mother <laughs> so I'd, I'd watched the ufc because i was like a big wwe fan mm -hmm. and my buddies at school were like, like um there's this thing on tv it's like wwe but they're actually eating the snot <laughs> but it's out of real it's real <laughs> i was like that's not real that's illegal <laughs> and i was telling my mum about it and she's like oh so it's like boxing but everything i was like i don't know I might check it out yeah um, yeah, I went to a mate's house and he, he had it on the TV. I was like, this is insane. <laughs> um, I liked it because it, it looked like what I think what appealed to me more than boxing or Muay Thai was it looks like you can just do whatever you want at any time. Yeah. You know, so there's no like set. Mm. Okay, now I have to – yeah, it's just I can be creative and do whatever I want. If I want to take it to the ground, I can take it to the ground. If I want to hold someone on the fence and – is you know yeah i can do what i want but um <laughs> All opponents now yeah. are going to be watching out for that. So, so. Tickling is actually against the rules. It's one of, one of the few rules. No tickling. No, no tickling. Th there's, these are some of the funny quickly. Um, no talking. None of that at all. Although they do talk and they never mm. really get a warning for it. No fish hooking where you go, and you're not allowed to do that. And uh, no tickling, <laughs> which is fantastic. I'd love to see a tickle move. I need to get caught. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so I thought that was nuts. And then um, – my brother got the UFC game on the PlayStation and I was <laughs> messing around with that. I was like, oh, this is nuts. And I was like, <laughs> Forrest Griffin was my favorite. Oh. Um, but my brother had trained in Muay Thai or was training Muay Thai. And um, I got to the character selection and I was like, Muay Thai. He's like, you choose your discipline. I was like, Muay Thai, I, I recognize that. I think that's mm. what my brother did because I hadn't seen him in like 10 years. Yeah. And um, I got home and I was – Quick Google, I was like, what's the closest Muay Thai gym? I might go and check it out. Um, and I walked in the gym. They found one that was like a 10-minute walk from my house. Um, and I walked in the gym and my brother was there. Oh, yeah. that's weird. I hadn't, seen, I hadn't seen him in 10 years or so. And I was like, this incredible. is incredible. Like, yeah. What are the he hadn't told you that he was at home? Or? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's sort of, yeah, he's always self doing his own thing, never answers his phones. And 
it just no one had spoken to him in ages, but um, except for like Christmas is every four or five years we see him. <laughs> well, cool, he's still alive. Good to know. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that was that was bizarre. And I trained there for yeah, about about a year. Mm-hmm. And then I stopped and I just started training with my brother out of his shed. He opened up his own gym, closed mm-hmm. it, opened it up, closed it, and then just moved everything into his shed. Yeah. And um, yeah, I was just working out. It was like right next to my school. So I finished school. <laughs> I walk across the gym. It was like on the way <laughs> to the train. So I'd go and train with him for a little bit and then get to the train. Awesome. Um, that was all uh, pure Muay Thai? That was just Muay Thai, Thai boxing, yeah. Nice. Um, but I always, I was like, MMA is like, that's where I want to go. Yeah. But there, I don't think there was MMA gyms at the time. Or mm. certainly if I, when I looked it up, it didn't exist. Yeah. Um, not in Adelaide. Yeah, it's hard to find. It, wasn't there. It, yeah. it was a very slow evolution. Yeah, yeah. But whenever I was watching, I was watching Anderson Silva and I was like, it's just like, it's all they're doing anyway. I was like, that's, I think that's how I want to fight. Yeah. Um, and then my, yeah, brother did the same thing. We disappeared for a while. But before he left, he showed me how to lift weights and he like huh. just yeah, babysat me and sat me down for like three hours and just went through everything bodybuilding. Yeah, I was right. like, this is nuts. Because <laughs> I didn't have a whole lot of self-confidence and I was – And how like, old are you at this stage? Like 16, 17? 17, I think. Yeah, right. So yeah, you, you're 17. just giving the keys to the castle. There yeah, you go. Yeah. The- um, yeah, I didn't have a lot of confidence in high school. And it, like – so as soon as I started – I uh, like saw what I could look like in the gym with a pump. Yeah, it's like, oh, what? That's nuts. Everyone's gonna, everyone's gonna talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> People are gonna know who I am. Yeah, yeah. So I started. Um, yeah, I really got heavy into that, and it became my my identity because I'd been given the blueprint. I didn't have to figure out what I was doing. So, so I, it was like the fast track. I'd like blew up in year twelve. Wow, um, the gorilla was. And, and everyone, everyone else was. Do you, working out, but do you recall what your uh, what your regime was there? So what yeah. what, what, was, what was the blueprint? What did your brother lay secret, out for? A little bit of secret is um, genetics, mm. but I was doing push pull legs, so I was training everything twice a week, and I <laughs> I wasn't really having rest days. I was, I was 18, 17. So yeah, who needs rest days? Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I was skipping. <laughs> I I was I had like a full time job in year twelve, mm-hmm. so I was working like thirty six hours a week. So I'd get home at like one in the morning and I'd, be, I'd have every intention to go to school mm-hmm. and I'd, the alarm would go off at 6.30 and I'm like, mm. I'll, <laughs> I'll go <at> recess. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd rock up at recess and lunch, I'd be like, well, I have to leave the last lesson 15 minutes early to get to bus to get to work. Mm. I'll just leave at lunch and I'll go to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> so to get everything done. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's awesome. So I was doing, um, yeah, I was doing, Back and biceps and a little bit of shoulders, chest and triceps, probably a little bit more shoulders, so, and then legs and abs. So twice a week, and what kind of rep ranges were you doing? Um, all just bodybuilding, that like eight to twelve. Yeah. Um, for the first bit, and then I got into just a little bit of strongman stuff. Huh. Didn't know what I was doing. I was just figuring it out myself. I was like five by five. I've heard that before. Yeah, yeah. let's try that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and my friend was really into sort of those functional movements, mm-hmm. compound lifts. Yeah. Um, and he showed me how to deadlift and squat. And then my numbers just went like skyrocketed. I just, I think my body was just built for stacking on muscle and strength. So I kind of got lucky. Yeah. Mm. I don't know if you, if you just moved the mic like, yeah. closer to your mouth. Yep. That's all. I'm just yep. figuring it up. Around. Sorry, I'm no, that's here. fine. No, that's all good. No, I didn't want it because it's sort of fading in and out every yeah. now and then, but I didn't want to interrupt. Yours. So you pushed up to 105 kilos. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. After a few years, I got to 105 kilos, and um, so you'd stop Muay Thai at this stage, yeah. and you were just like, yeah, I was doing just, the weights. just lifting weights. And I think, yeah, it was like on my 21st birthday, my friend had a fight on DFC, ah. uh, like my school friend. Yeah, um, right. And I knew he trained for a little bit, but um, yeah, it's like that's like what I so I went and watched. So I was like, that's like. What that's I it. wanted to do, yeah, um, that's so sick. And I just, I lost my mind watching the watching the whole card. I was like, this is like, all right, that all <laughs> I needed to do at any point was watch a live show. I was like, yes, this is what I want to do. Yeah, um, because lifting is great, but I wasn't competing. I wasn't, mm. you know, testing yourself yeah. other than against the weights. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I watched him fight, and I was like, oh, cool, I got to do this. Um, my brother had spoken was friends with Craig Ike, 
the mm-hmm. owner of Cardioflex to coach there um, in the past. He used to be friends with him. So I'd heard him say his name at Cardioflex. And when he had his gym, I'd do like a bit of work there and he'd be like, oh, we've got an interclub sparring at Cardioflex. Or so. so I'd heard the name quite yeah. a few times. I was bouncing at a club where uh, the Shane Mitchell, a fighter, mm-hmm. and Greg were working at. <laughs> yeah. Um, and they were both trained at Cardioflex. I was like, it's, yeah. I was like, okay, well, all, if I'm going to give any gym a go, that's, like, that's the only one I know of. <laughs> <laughs> I like Googled some and there was some gyms in the city, some, you know, elsewhere. But um, I was like, oh, Cardioflex, at least I've got someone I can talk to. So there's mm. like a, someone that. I'm not just completely lost when I walk in there. Yeah. Yeah. Some familiarity. Yeah. So I got in there and I was just a huge ball of muscle. And um, I think the first session was boxing and I just like couldn't keep up. For it. <laughs> I, like, I thought I could. I yeah. was like, oh, I've done this before. Like I can throw. And like 30 seconds in, I can't even hold my hands up. <laughs> Shoulders are pumped. I'm like, oh, yeah. God. Yeah. So like the castle. We're doing it, yeah. So I guess that's where the that's where the name comes from. It was, yeah, yeah. I was just a tank when I walked in. Yeah. I was like ten kilos more muscle than I am now. Incredible. Yeah. But wow. the biggest thing was cardio. Like I looked good. I yeah. liked how I looked, but I couldn't throw a punch for longer than thirty seconds. And and have you had any like dysmorphia or, or as a result of downsizing? Like have you kind of gone, oh, you know, I, I did I look like a beast. Yeah. Hundred uh, percent. Yeah. Um, yeah, because when it's like all I do is bodybuilding and all I'm doing is watching myself in the mirror, yep. you notice yourself getting smaller immediately. Yeah, um, A friend of mine tried MMA and quit after a week because he's like, I'm getting too skinny. <laughs> after a week. <laughs> yeah. One week. Yeah. I can tell. Yeah. I lost all my gains, bro. <laughs> I was like, 300 yeah, yeah, I know. You should stop that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but it's just something that you have to do because – as soon as I lost, with all the running, especially in fight camps, mm. the muscle sort of dropped off me after I had like three fight camps before I actually fought. Yeah. So step by step, I was getting slimmer and slimmer and slimmer. And yeah, it was hard. I was trying to, I was lifting weights at the same time. So I was working out, I was doing the the fighting, mm. but like after work or before work, I was lifting weights. Sneaking in yeah. session here and there. Yeah. And, um, but still bodybuilding stuff. Yeah. And then, yeah, as soon as I stopped, I started my cardio getting better. I was downsizing, but my cardio was getting better. I was like, how I can actually like stay with guys like Greg, who's known for his cardio. Mm. I was like, now I can actually last a full round with Greg. Yeah. Instead of just getting dropped because I'm so tired. Yeah. You know? um, so, yeah, that was sort of the turning point. But it was a battle for three years. I was yeah. Saying. I was yeah. Trying to juggle both. And and it, and what's your relationship with weight training now? Are you, now that you because you I mean it's you you returned recently from Dubai was it um, uh, Lebanon Lebanon yeah. for the Sambo yeah. Championships yeah and so you represented Australia yeah. there and then you're straight into DFC fourteen against, yeah like four weeks later yeah, yeah. A, a formidable opponent D at Samasoni. Yeah, just, just a beast of a man as well, and 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 won. I think it was fighter of the night too. Won the fight bonus. Yeah, um, for the for yeah. most most entertaining, the the crowd's favourite. That was for sure. Yeah. Um. So I mean, amongst all of that very high level activity, is there any room for weights anymore? And uh it's hard for me because a lot all the other fighters will have it. They'll go in after training and they'll do weights. Mm-hmm. It's it's hard because whenever I lift something. I just grow. Yeah. So it's sort of a juggle of high, really high rep stuff. Yeah. And um, so is it almost more of a conditioning circuit than with resistant weights or kettlebells and barbells? Yeah. Than um, just sitting in the gym and. So it's almost like you've built that foundation mm. already, whereas a lot of fighters <laughs> might might not have reached that uh, muscle maturity 100%. at such a young age. And how old are you now? Twenty. 25 yeah. so so yeah so you're at that age now where you've got that muscle maturity and it's kind of embedded yeah and so you've always kind of got mm-hmm. it do, do you think one day you'll return back to the weights is that something after that you've i'm got done in mind? fighting i think i have to <laughs> he's yeah. gonna blow up again you know, 115 yeah. ripped. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> we're making up for lost time here guys right. yeah. 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 return I'm, of the gorilla yeah. <laughs> my, mate, my mate's always called me the cloud and <laughs> after, <laughs> yeah. after like a weight cut 
<laughs> my buddy saw a photo. He's like, we're going to have to start calling you the mist because there's just nothing wow. left to you anymore. Wow. I was like, don't say that. What, what where are you fighting? You were fighting light heavyweight in 93s? I or? did fight at light heavyweight, but um, my last fight was 84. Okay, a bit of weight. Yeah, right. Um, the guys that I fought at light heavyweight, <clears throat> I didn't wake up. I just, I would like get out of bed and I was like 92 right. kilos. Yep. So I was underweight. And then I and they just, were cutting like I just 10 didn't kilos. have dinner and I was 91 kilos or something. So <laughs> right. when I fought, I was like 92 kilos mm-hmm. or not even. Yeah. And the guys that I was fighting, <laughs> I spoke to Damo my first fight um, probably two weeks after we fought. He was 107 <laughs> kilos. Or yeah. it's I crazy, was like, I'm still 92 <laughs> kilos. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh wow. So I think I look a lot bigger than I am, um, than I weigh. So, yeah, mm. it's deceptive. But, yeah, yeah. I was like, and then the next fight, the dude was taller than me. Will, he was taller than me. Um, he was definitely heavier than me. Um, I could feel it when I was sort of trying to pin him down. He just started getting up. I was like, mm. I'm putting all my weight on him, but he's just <laughs> getting up. <laughs> yeah. And I was, um, you know, speaking to Shane, and I was like, how much, I was just like getting all the fighters, really. I was like, how much do you weight cut? How, do, you know, how much? I was like, oh, I wonder if I could get to 84 kilos. I was like, it was like that or I beef up again yeah. and then I stay at 93. But then I, then I can't last longer than three minutes. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that was the dilemma. Yeah. So mm. now I'm at 84 for good. Uh, I do, yeah. That's yeah, what, that's the lock in now. Yeah. This last one was easy. So I did a practice cut first because I was meant to fight at the last apex mm-hmm. and that fell out five days out. Mm-hmm. COVID um, or something. Somebody got COVID. I think everyone. I'm not even going to entertain. <laughs> everyone got COVID after Apex yeah, oh, as well. I got COVID after. Yeah, yeah, I think sitting in that little sweat box out the back, someone had it. Yeah. Every, the whole team got it. So, no, I had a point to pull out with the most like ridiculous reason. Yeah. 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 Uh, he's like, <laughs> he's from the sticks up in Northern Territory, and he's like, sent sent a a message to. Um, or the, the coach sent a message to Ike, saying the promoter saying he's he hasn't been at the gym. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna let him fight. Um, mm. and he's like, all right, yeah, no worries. <clears throat> but the other promoter, Greg, hadn't heard this story, oh. so he sent a message to the fighter, and he goes, "Hey, um, I need your photo, your promotional photo, and like some um, certificates and stuff from the doctors, saying you can fight and everything." Mm. And he's like, oh, sorry, you mustn't have heard. Um, a bunch of gang members came and smashed up my house, so I have to go and sort them out. Oh, right. I was like, oh, okay. That that sounds pretty tough. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what, what's the silliest excuse you yeah. make up on, on the spot? <laughs> like, make me sound like an animal. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So that was a new one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it was, it was five days out, and I'd already started water loading, and I started the, you know, I'd, done everything up until then i was like well i'll i'll cut to like 85 and then i'll know that i can do it when i really have to dig and get the next kilo off um and i did it with um brad another training partner of mine or one of the fighters out of our gym he helped me out and i cut it in like four hours mm. and you know it sucks but i was like that was actually pretty easy mm. and they were watching me and they're like this is like way easier than we cut weight is just falling off. Like welterweight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I bet I could. <laughs> like, like four kilo or five kilos. Oh, what did I do? This one was six kilos. Mm. Um, any more than that. And I'm like, no. The, any more than that and I feel like I'm doing damage. Yeah. Mm. But it, what we, what you weighed in at 83 point something. Yeah. I, I think I was – I weighed in with my pants on and I was mm. like 84.1 or something. Yeah, and then a fight, come fight, fight night. night. Yeah. So, yeah, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I, I saw these two guys weigh in and they took the shirts. I, 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 when I saw you, I thought, oh, I hope you're going to be well enough to fight. Like, yeah. I hope the chemo works out <laughs> <Yeah>. well. <laughs> so depleted. Yeah. He's just like, Shuffling, and then, shuffling, and then, the, and then he walks out. And it's like, oh my god, what happened? <laughs> but oh, the other dude was like that too. Yeah, that was the thing. Oh, it was the oh, same uh, thing. He walked out first. We face off at the weight at the weigh-ins. I was like, this guy's tiny. Like, this is such a big difference. <laughs> like, the last guy was taller than me. This guy's like three inches shorter than me. I was like, oh, this is, or five inches shorter than me. I was <laughs> like, this guy's tiny. Yeah. And I step across the cave from him. He's like. Twice the size. <laughs> wow. Like, oh, my God. 
<laughs> he, did, he did the same thing. We both weighed in and fought at like 90, 90 and a bit kilos. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah, I, so I thought I was the, having the advantage, but. <laughs> it was about eight, eight, eight kilos in 24 hours. That oh, was the yeah. difference. It was incredible. So, <laughs> so how did you, did you go sauna, uh, hot towels? I did a bath. Bath. Yeah, yeah hot yeah. bath. Yeah. Yeah. Did this one with the, that, the guy that fought. Uh, his name's Mark. I uh, went to school with Mark Macefield. He had another fight of the night on the previous show. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah he, he helped me out with my cut. He's done some big cuts. Mm-hmm. So he knows what he knows what he's doing. Mm. Yeah. So um, so that 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 first night, you've headed into cardio flex. You've you know you found you found it. You know, you know. Okay, this is it. This is what I'm going to do. Did you know straight away that you wanted to fight? Was it? it, it it's that yeah, on the, the cards. The plan was the always the plan was always, but. And how, really, how long did it take to get to that point where Ike and the guys and yourself felt, okay, you're, you're ready? I think I dropped my name that I wanted to fight like mm-hmm. eight months after training or something. Mm-hmm. The first three months I was working and I had to go in in the mornings and it was the boxing coach. It was a different coach. So I didn't train with like the fighters for the first probably three or four months. So it was about six months in where I'd trained a bit with um, with the fighters and or like done pad work with people that would hold pads for me and they were actually good. Yeah. And then I dropped my name with Ike. I was like, I know I'm a bit far off yet, but um, I really want to. Ha- I think I really want to have a fight. And he's like, Gosh, you're not that far mm-hmm. off. And that mm-hmm. was like me going like, that was sort of like him saying that was a big, um, a cool. I'm in the right direction. Yeah. yeah. I'm actually good at it. I'm. I don't. I'm not just good because I think I'm good. It's yeah. like someone who actually knows what they're looking at actually mm-hmm. thinks I've got something. Yeah. Did, so, you, did you gravitate more <clears throat> towards a certain style of like grappling or you're controlling the clinch or you, you, your striking was really important or jiu-jitsu was your standout? Um, I think right about when I started, we had wrestlers from Wrestling Academy come into our gym <clears throat> and start coaching on Tuesdays just once a week. And it was like I had something that I was starting at and everyone else in the gym was mm, starting with. Yeah. So I was like they would they'd at least done grappling before, but um they hadn't done this Olympic wrestling before. Mm. So but neither had I. So I was keeping up with everyone else at that. So I think that helped me sort of glue to wrestling. Um and I got on really well with the coaches, um, Chris and Taylor. Taylor's actually competing at the Commonwealth Games oh, like this oh. weekend or something ridiculous. Oh. Um but yeah, so I was surrounded. I was I had good coaches to start with. Very high level. Yeah, um, and I just took to it really well because I could use my strength a bit, and I could mm. sort of like guys that were even bigger than me, like mm-hmm. Greg. I could actually get to a position. I could like squeeze and actually <laughs> use my muscle a bit. Like, oh, the tables have turned. Greg. Yeah, guys like, like beating the snot out of me, inspiring for like two years. Your cardio <laughs> ain't helping now. Yeah. <laughs> but it's the same thing. It's like. Probably the most taxing thing there is is wrestling, live wrestling. Mm. Yeah, and and I was using strength. Yeah. So then I would go against someone my size, like Chris, who's the coach, and he, we would have a good, it was like a little bit competitive for a couple of minutes, and mm. then I'm using strength. So then he just wiped the floor with me. <laughs> yeah. After two minutes, right. like it's, it's the same thing. It's still like I'm, I'm figuring out a way that I can use <clears throat> technique, but where my strength didn't aid me. Mm. Um, and it was really, yeah, it was wrestling. It was striking. Mm. I can try, you know, if you're like trying to punch everything as hard as you can, yeah, I'll gas out in 50 seconds. Yeah. But, <clears throat> yeah. yeah. So is, I think, is, uh, yeah, definitely the wrestling. So wrestling is your sort of bread and butter? You, you, you. I, I like striking. I think um, I'm most comfortable striking. But um, I live an hour away from the MMA gym. Mm-hmm. So when I f- – First moved out um, about an hour away, I was like, oh, I've got to find something good to compensate for the drive. So twice a week I was going to – I found the wrestling club, the wrestling academy, oh. <laughs> 15 minutes from my house. Oh, there you go. I was like, oh, this is perfect. <laughs> um, so – I forgot where I was going with that. but oh, So, so you, the wrestling is something that was yeah, a Yeah, so, so I think I got quite good at that in the MMA gym. Like compared to the other guys at the MMA gym, mm. I was quite good at the wrestling um, because I was going there twice, three times a week. Um, but I'm definitely most comfortable at the moment in striking. It's mm. just, I, I think just the, you, with everything, you get the penny drops sort of moment and um, just 
now I'm comfortable getting punched in the face. Yeah. So it took it took a little while. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Especially the guys that I was sparring with. You know, the, yeah. The big dudes that I was sparring with. I was like, it's you know, it's scary. Yeah. Especially when uh, you've never done it before. So it took a little took a little while. Now I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable standing toe to toe in front of someone yeah. and confident in them. Yeah. You know? And 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 not unhappy about getting hit. Yeah. 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 That, and just yeah. like getting hit and understanding that like Understanding the structure of a fight mm. and that like you get like you get hit, but it's never as hard as it looks. Mm. Well, it might be, but it never feels as hard as it looks because you're focused and and I'm thinking of other things. It's like I'm not thinking of slipping and hitting, or I'm like I'm not thinking okay, I have to work the legs, I have to work leg. Or I saw you know I'm thinking like in one minute I'm gonna try and press him against the cage, or in at some point in this round I'm gonna look for this and i know his energy is going to drop and then That's as long as my, yeah and my cardio has come so far from what it was that striking just gets so much easier when i make someone tired yeah. so pretty much everything that i do in sparring and fighting is to wear someone out in the first couple of minutes and then that's when i think my striking really shines very very cool yeah. and, and how did the opportunity come about to represent australia in sambo oh this is this is whack <laughs> so um uh, we were in fight camp for the Apex and this the fellow who runs the Sambo, the show in SA, Just even Sa- Australia. Sa- Sava? Sava, yeah. yeah, that's his name, Russian dude. Yeah. Um, he came and put on a bit of a clinic at on a, on the weekend at our gym, used mm-hmm. our gym to show – um, show us all what to destroy samba everybody. Was. <laughs> <laughs> well, it just it just ran us through like what and like no one knew what samba was. I'd heard of it because of I was like I think that's what Khabib Fedor, used to. Fedor Fedor. 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 Well, I didn't yeah. really know that until I started doing samba. I was like looking. I was like, who does samba? And I was like, oh, Fedor. That I thought it was judo, right? But probably both. Oh, it's pretty yeah. similar. Yeah. 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 Um, Putin. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, um. Yeah. So. We did that and then the fight fell out. Um, a couple of weeks later, the coach, I'm sort of training for the next fight or hoping that I've got a fight. I'm training, um, but I don't have a fight yet. And it's about eight weeks out. Um, and Ike goes, you remember Sava, the guy that does the Sambo stuff? I was like, yeah, yeah. He's like, he's offering to take someone to Lebanon to fight in Sambo. Yeah. And I was like, I sucked at that <laughs> no way <laughs> no ask someone else <laughs> how would you like to represent your country in something that you shit at yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like no I was awful no way and um, I was driving home after he asked me that and I was just like I think this is why this is like something to do with why I fight but I was like sitting I was like how an opportunity like that came up and how can you say no to you, that? You can't buy it, that opportunity. And even like, it, it's not even that. It's it's like it's like when I get someone, my Ike comes to me with an opponent and he's like, I've got this guy, do you want to fight? I was like, yes. I was like, I don't need to know who it is. Like, yes. yes. And it's like um, he came, he come up to me with to fight Damo for a second time. Mm-hmm. I was like, I just got smashed by Damo for mm. three rounds. And I was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> knowing knowing what happened the first time, but yep. I'm like, I've like I've just got something in me where I have, I have to like to prove my to myself that I can do something even ridiculous odds or in my mind that you just um, want to test yeah. yourself. So this I was driving home and I was like, oh, I can't say no to that. No. <laughs> yeah. uh, if I say no, I was like, I'll, like, I'll probably get smashed. Yeah. But then I will have said no. Yeah. And something will, it will, it will slip by. And um, so, I, so I watched, I was in the bath and I was watching Sambo videos. I was like, what is combat Sambo? <laughs> and I was like, I was watching the world championships and I was like, okay, when they grab a hold of each other, I'm going to be in a whole different neighborhood. Mm. But when they're, Boxing each other, I was like, they're not that good. Yeah, they, you know, they they know how to hit someone. But yeah. I was like, we, I fight better guys than that in the gym. Mm. I was like, I reckon I can do this. Mm. So I texted Aki. I was like, hey, I've actually changed my mind about the summer thing. He's like, excellent, That's a great <laughs> opportunity, <laughs> <You know? laughs> perfect. 
Um, but which it is, it's just a great opportunity. And I got a free trip out of it. I got flown to Lebanon, got to do like two days of sightseeing. And wow. Flew, so I trained for like four weeks. Yeah, and what did you training? It was just four weeks in preparation. And, yeah. and what was it, the world championships? This or was the Asian, Asian championships. Right. So okay. if you win in the Asian championships, you go to the world championships. So it's basically everyone except for Russia and Ukraine was allowed to fight. Yeah. Um, so it basically is the world championships without <laughs> the guys that actually win. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so give everyone else a chance. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, so four weeks of training Sambo, like three days a week, mm-hmm. and then two days I was still doing MMA or striking um, at the gym. And we get flown over there and it's like this is – I put a big post out. I was like – I, I like the day that I'm flying out. I was like, by the way, everyone, this is what I'm doing. <laughs> everyone was like, what the hell? Where did this come from? Uh, I'm like over there and people were like, what the fuck are you doing in Lebanon? Like, Haven't you read the news? I was like, no, what's going on in Lebanon? <laughs> My mum was like, I did a quick Google. It says avoid at all costs. <laughs> like, yeah, but Samba. Uh, yeah. yeah. I was like, mom, I'm going to go and be a champ. <laughs> um, yeah. And, um, I walk into the lobby at the at Lebanon and there's like 30 dudes that are like bigger than me oh. and they're all just sizing me up like I'm a <laughs> meal. <laughs> but I think it's a culture. I don't know. I walk in and I'm like all happy and I'm like, I was like, they don't speak English, but I'm going to try and say hello to people. Yeah, yeah. And I'm walking up and this dude's mean mugging me and I walk right up to him. I was like, shake his hand. I was like, hey, dude, I'm Joe from Australia. Nice to meet you. And he's just like, what the fuck? This guy. <laughs> we didn't come to talk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We came to win. <laughs> <laughs> I was really, I think they didn't like me because I, I was, I, they were all like, I walk into the way, the weigh-in room and it's in like, a, it's downstairs in the bathrooms in, like a really dingy, like the lights don't work. The lights are flickering. <laughs> These three dudes are wearing suits in in the in a toilet, <laughs> and they're like Can step on scale. And I was like, "Yes, sir." <laughs> um, but everyone in the room is like just looking at me. I was like, "Do I have to fight all these dudes?" I was, <laughs> they look massive. Mm. Like, all of them look massive. I don't think any of them are making weight. Mm. And that, um, and a little and person. I mean, Nine to two kilos. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It only no, it of, only says ninety two. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> actually, because I was fighting it. This was ninety eight or eighty eight. Mm-hmm. Eighty eight's a bit hard. Oh, I don't want to do that. So I got ninety eight, and I'll just fight it like ninety three. Yeah, and I did that. And the dudes that I was fighting were, I was like, hey, man, the guys that I thought I was fighting are eighty eight. Oh god! I was like, how do how do they make eighty eight? These guys are massive. Um. I went out 98. But yeah, I'm in the bathroom and everyone's like, it is like you can catch the tension with a knife. Like <laughs> someone like it feels like something's gonna go off at any minute. <laughs> I was with my um tr- there was another fighter that went to Lebanon. I was like, hey, hey, take take my phone for a sec, get a photo. <laughs> he's like, what? I was like, he's like, we're all in like jocks, you sure? I was like, yeah, yeah, take a photo. Mm-hmm. I get stand in the middle of like 30 dudes that want to rip my head off. Like, so I was like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> they and they're like, this, and then it changes. They're all like, what the fuck? This guy's, this guy's fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No one knows what to think. <laughs> and I, At first, yeah. he was fairly friendly. This time, <laughs> he looks crazy. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I'm now I'm yeah. scared. Yeah. <laughs> I've been so nice to him. I should have got bigger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so I was being really nice to everyone and like all the officials were like, they were Team Australia. Uh, yeah, but yeah. Cause they're like, I think they're just, Convenient. everyone seems like this. Yeah. You know, <laughs> it's very serious. Yeah. In those so serious. World. Yeah. It's all they've got though. Mm. Yeah. Like, these guys from Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, mm. Kyrgyzstan, other stans. All the stans. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're like, it's all they have. And the girls were like, Kazakhstan came over with, and Kyrgyzstan came over with like 50 competitors. Wow. Far out. Um, each wow. and the girls were like the best i was watching the girls do the drill so i was like they just go forever <laughs> like they're just they're doing warm-ups and it's like they're so quick and they just go and go and go and go and i'm watching for an half an hour for a warm-up they've been doing it since they were two yeah yeah, yeah. same with the arm wrestling when they for food over. Yeah. 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 The Uzbekistan team turned up for, uh, we had a big arm wrestling tournament in Queensland, and there was like 30 guys that just, they all came around the corner at once, and it was, they all had like the same matching track suits and stuff. Uh And it was like, oh my God. Yeah. 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 But can you die? 
in arm wrestling? No. Well, you'd hope not. Maybe <laughs> so, a heart attack. So I'm looking at this. You've been like, Googling death since Sambo. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you're looking at this guy. Was it him? He did. He, it was him. <laughs> my mom's messaging me every morning. She's like, I wake. She's like, she messes my girlfriend. She's like, I've heard for Joe. I'm like, is he alive? And she's like, oh, yeah, yeah, he's fine. <laughs> she's like, every morning she's like, are you still alive? <laughs> yeah. So um, it was good to, it was a good opportunity and it was good to know where I'm at compared to athletes at the After top full of their sport. After four-week training. <laughs> yeah. But compared to athletes at the top of their sport on the other side of the world where it's all they do. And I walked out and I, I started like putting my hand on this dude. And he was he was bigger than me for sure. Um, but I started putting my hands on this dude and I started making him miss. I was like getting a bit of confidence. Mm. It's like, I can do this. I was mm. like, I've only got five minutes. All I have to do, if he takes me down, I'm just gonna belly out, not give up any points, and they'll step, they'll stand us back up. That's what I've been watching. That's what everyone's doing. Mm. But as soon as they get down, no one knows what to do. So they just like try and land a punch and then get stood up. Mm. I was like, oh, cool. If you take I'm just gonna put my hands on him, he might take me down to get two points, I'll belly out. By the end of the five minutes, I'll probably knock him out. Yeah. Um, and then he grabs me by the collar <laughs> and I'm like, oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> my plan, what was my plan yeah, again? Yeah. <laughs> my, my body's gone, underhook, uh, I'm good. And it just flips me. <laughs> wow. like, so I slam on like my side, belly out. I'm like, okay, I'm good. And then I can feel him like sliding his arm through my jacket because oh. you've got to wear the jackets in Sambo and yeah. I don't even do gi in Jiu Jitsu. So yeah. I'm, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I feel it. I was like, I don't know what's going on. But I know it's bad. But this is bad. <laughs> oh, yeah. I feel like he knows what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> and he flips me, puts me in a bow and arrow choke. Um, and I'm, I'm fighting it and it doesn't feel like I'm, I'm like, this hurts, but I can deal with it. I can deal with it. I can deal with it. And then I wake up. <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> and the ref's over me and he's like got my legs up and the fish is over me and he's like can you continue i was like oh yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> and i get up <laughs> but they don't speak very good english what uh, he meant was are you okay <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah oh. so i thought i was like oh he must have just let go of the choke as i fell asleep or something yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah that's right i know already <laughs> yeah, yeah so i get up I'm and i'm trying to put my head piece together he's like no take that off i was like no no i'm good to go i'm, good yeah. to go. <laughs> and I'm like oh Oh, I lost. Oh, that, that, <laughs> happened. that happened. Okay. So that was about 50 seconds in. Wow. So I've gone halfway across the world and got choked out in a minute. <laughs> so that's why if you've followed my social media, you probably haven't heard anything. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, we're waiting for the gold medal post. Yeah. And yeah. The, 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 yeah. you know, four weeks of training, took out the best in the world. Yeah. And, yeah it, 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 regional champion. And yeah. But no. no. How, did, how did the guy that... <laughs> That for you, how did he go? Do you know how he went? So, on? Second to last. And he- <laughs> <laughs> Second worst <Yeah>. there. <laughs> there was not many dudes in our division. So if I'd won that fight, I would have got a, I would have got a bronze medal oh, and, I would, wow. and I would get the invitation to the world championship. You would have been so close. <laughs> wow. Oh. Um, but he then went and did that move to the next guy mm. and put him out. Huh. And then got to the championships and put the dude out with the same move again it's a signature uh, move uh, it's like okay this obviously he knew what it was knew, like that was his plan that's all he, along yeah yeah um i did a quick google they had a tally like a ladder of the people you're fighting i was i clicked on his name i was like so he must be pretty good then i wonder if he's got like a record or something and it said um started four weeks ago <laughs> <laughs> uh, five five weeks ago. Yeah. <laughs> it went um 2021 World Championships silver medal. Oh. <laughs> I was like, oh, I've been stitched up. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it was? It was this, and they went, he's up against silver yeah. medalist. No. Oh, he must be. Good. Yeah. 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 See his muscles? He's he got confidence. Good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Bow and arrow choke. Um, I don't know what it is. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I was <laughs> going to say, what is that? <laughs> is, is it like a dance? Or you're in. No, it's, with the, it's using the jacket, right. pull, pulling it across, but he's, my body is being pulled into the choke. Uh, so, yeah, he's like. There's one carotid. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, right. So, it's like, it doesn't hurt. So, I'm fighting it. I'm like, I can, I'm trying to turn, I'm trying to f- figure out which way I can turn to get out of it. I was like, I know how bodies are meant to move. So, if I go that. Oh, <laughs> oh, <geez>. wow. <laughs> it was literally, I had like two seconds. Oh, I, right. It was on. It was wow. on. And then I was out for like 15 seconds, I think. Wow. Yeah, geez. it was pretty bad. 
Scary. The last dude, the ref didn't pull him off him for about 15 seconds. <sighs> so then he was out for another 15 seconds. Oh, I was like, maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> this is Lebanon, isn't it? This is this Lebanon. <laughs> <laughs> Different yeah. standards. There we go. It's the only thing, <laughs> if you had fought him again, anything you would do differently? <laughs> don't let him touch me again. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. Yeah. I think, I definitely think that just dudes at that level, like if they, if they grab me, I can, I can wrestle, but the jacket just throws a huge spanner in the mix for me. Someone in Australia who's confident in jiu-jitsu with the gi and know and has good knowledge of striking. Yeah. Um, is better knowledge than their striking, but just knows how to use the gi, will probably win. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. Interesting observation. Or, so- or have a good chance. I think someone I think someone Damo beat me, but I know he does a lot of gi. I don't know so much about his striking, but he's pretty strong and I know he's a little game. I reckon that dude would do pretty well. Mm. Yeah. So some of those guys that are like just want to fight. So they're not they're willing to come through and throw. Yeah. Cause I think they're new to striking over there. And they're not used to being hit. So someone who like wants to throw, but he's also good in, in the jacket. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it hasn't rekind it hasn't kindled something within you to return and <laughs> take 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 them on again one but more time. And- they've got the, Leave up a spot onto the podium. <laughs> They've got – there's a show – I think it's in Sydney. It's the Nationals for Sambo and I got invited to that. I was like, I just have to see how my body's doing because I'm in a pretty bad way after the last fight. Yeah. Um, just fight camps. Not so much the fight, like fight camps. But just things would sort of go bad in my yeah. body. And I was just like, I just need some time. Like as long as I'm good to go. So we'll see what happens. I might, I might jump on that. Yeah. And then there's a show in October – yeah, so, you'll be um, fighting on uh, that DFC 15? Well, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. right. Because I wasn't sure. I was like, I'll just see how my body's going. But then before I left, I was like, put me on. <laughs> and then and, I left to. And have game. you got your eyes on any opponents uh, currently? Or not really? just whoever I, Ike puts in front I don't of you know. will be, yes? The heavier weights, there's not so many people. So I don't know who's in who's in um, SA. Yeah. I have no idea. Because as soon as I drop down to middleweights, all the other middleweights seem to stop fighting. <laughs> He's <laughs> here. <laughs> go. <laughs> um, yeah. So I don't know if there's many. In, so we had to get this guy in from interstate. Yep. Um, and I'd seen some of his fights. So I was like, this guy's like, he's pretty good. He Serious. looks like he lost his last fight and he got pretty well dominated for the fight. But every moment that he had to do something good, he did something good. Yeah. I was like, I, he knows what he's doing. And I'm not going to try and just grapple him the whole time. Yeah. So he's probably going to have, yeah, it's going to be a tough one. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I have the confidence and I, yeah, I was like, are you shorter than me? Everyone that's shorter than me, I seem to like, that's when I can really get my rhythm going. You've got to have, yeah. You, yeah. Someone's got to have something on me to pull me out. Yeah. The first fight you had, the opponent was taller. Is that what you're saying? First fight was shorter. Okay. And I got pinned against the cage the whole uh, time, uh, which is somewhere that I was definitely lacking. Yeah. Yeah. Um, second fight, dude had definitely probably two inches on me. Right. Yeah, he was he was taller than me. Yeah. Um, but I was just so game that I, yeah. <laughs> I was okay. Yeah. And I hadn't been practicing because I was meant to fight someone else and then a week out, turns out I'm fighting someone bigger than me. Uh, okay. So, oh, shit, I've been fighting midgets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the last yeah. minute replacements yeah. would be. What was it like? The, the very first fight that you had, like that first walkout. Like, how did you feel doing that? The first fight, I had no nerves oh. at all. I was like so confident. I was yeah. like, I'm just gonna walk through this guy. Yeah. Um, he'd beaten me in a grappling competition, but I was still like, I'm still just gonna walk through him. Right. Like, I'm, I'm like putting on a clinic in the gym. Yeah. At, like when I'm like right before the fight, I was like, I'm so fit. I'm like putting it to everyone at yeah. the gym, which hadn't happened for me before. I'd never done that before. Right. Um, I was like, I think I'm just, I don't think anyone can stop me right now. I'm just going to walk through this dude. I was like, this is, this is what I want and yeah. I'm going to get it. Yeah. I walk, I'm walking out to the fight, I step in the cage and then like, I don't know. I just, it was like a deer in the headlights. Uh, yeah. yeah. And it, I like, I'm standing in front of him. I'm like, think I'm literally thinking to myself, like, oh, okay. Um, Let's just work. I'm going to try and like steer away from everything else, but I'm going to try and parry the jab and I'm going to sting him. And he, he just like 
comes in it comes in so fast and like low so it was a different angle that i was used to and it comes in with the biggest overhand right wow. <laughs> it just cuts me open straight away <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah which was a cut that i'd had in training like a couple of weeks before yeah and then he's got me pinned against the cage like straight after that and i'm bleeding on him i was like well it's pretty obvious what his plan is <laughs> yeah right. he's gonna hit me and then rush me to the cage yeah. and um i felt like i had to get something back i had to like research get him with something get him with something really quickly so the first round i was really like fighting as hard as i could and i was just everything i was throwing i was putting 100 percent into it so by the time of the second round mm. and he hadn't really done a whole lot so he's like his six for him in the first round he was laying on top of me for like 15 seconds he was against the cage for half a minute and he was had me against the against the cage for like a minute mm-hmm. so he wasn't working as hard as i was so after – and I was working as hard as I could. <laughs> so um, end of the first round, I was like, I'm toast. Like, I'm yeah. so rooted. <laughs> I was like, I can't, lift my, I can't lift my arms up. I'm gasping for air. And um, it comes out in the second round, my feet, I'm like, I'm so flat-footed. And he just like literally walks at me and I can't – he like holds me and I can't even – I don't have the energy to angle off. So after that fight, I was like, okay, there's definitely – it's different to sparring, 100%. I, you don't know what you don't know. Mm. And I, I walk into the cage and I didn't realize that it was different to sparring. Yeah. So it wasn't uh, enough to put you off. So you, you you're, did you have a plan, I'm going to see this through however many fights or, or yeah. was it just like I'm just going to keep doing this until I'm winning or – or because a, a lot of people would have a bad experience and then go, mm, I'm not going to do that Yeah. Again. Um, well, I had full confidence that I was going to win mm. and I was, I knew I was going to win the next one and I knew I was going to win the next one. Yep. So I was like, I'll probably have three fights, go undefeated and then I'll go pro. Mm. And then so I that got this plan. first first loss and I was like, well, that's different. Mm. That's not – that changes things. Um, I know what I have to – I know what I have to fix. Mm. Um, definitely my cardio and I don't know what I'm doing against the cage. Mm which I thought I did. Um, so I've actually um, – but then I was watching the fight and I was like I was just clawing at things to be happy with. Yeah. Um, and I was like this dude's like – he's hit me probably 100 times in the fight mm. but nothing hurt me because mm. um, they were just punches because he knew if he hit, gave me a big punch then I'd have the ability to get up. Mm. Yeah. I was like okay. So he got me down like six times. I reversed or got up five times. Hmm. I was like, okay, well, that's something. Yeah. Um, this guy's like my jiu-jitsu coach is like, we all know how good he is. He's probably one of the best in the state of what he's doing and you've gone to f- full fight with him doing his game and got out like every mm. time. Yeah. Um, I was like, hey, that's a good point. Um, maybe there's something to work with here. Um and then I got in the gym and I was like, I just want to get this sour taste out of my mouth. I want to, I want to fight again straight away. Yeah. Um, and then I had, yeah, so then I got put with another light heavyweight and I was like, I was already thinking about middleweight because mm. I was like this, because I spoke to him, he's 107 kilos. I was like, I'm still 93. I, I feel like I should go middleweight. And the next fight got offered a light heavyweight. I was like, well, I'm not going to turn it down. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'll fight against um, someone who hadn't fought before. I was like, okay, well, I've had um, the experience of being in the cage for a full fight. Mm. Um, so let's use that against someone that hasn't even fought before. At least now I know what what mm. the feeling is like, how to pace myself um, and how to be composed. Um, that's really what I was going to work on for the second fight. And this guy doesn't know what he's doing. Yeah. He hasn't been there yet. He doesn't know. And then a week out, um, or probably five days out, he's like, uh, he's torn his ACL uh, three weeks ago, and he was hoping it would be fine, but he's not going to be able to fight. I was like, you're joking. This is literally the story of my life. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've had one fight. I've had three fight camps. This is the fourth fight Oops. camp. This is literally the story of my life. Um, I was like, oh, whatever. I'll go and had a family meal from McDonald's. And- <laughs> <laughs> Family meal. I ate my depression. And then um, 
like the next day, I feel like actually garbage. And I wake up to a text, he's like, hey, have you heard of Will Sutton? <laughs> um, <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, he's like, yeah, so he wants to fight. I was like, um, he's like, have you trained with him before? Do you know anything about him? I was like, no, I haven't trained with him. Uh, I, th- I think I've watched his fight. I think I watched one of his fights. So, um, but yeah, I'll take the fight. <laughs> and he's like, sweet, we're on. <laughs> Um, but get those rappers out of here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. yeah. What, what McDonald's? Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> and then I, my weight dropped. I think it boosted my metabolism. Oh. <laughs> so every fight except for this last one, I've had a binge right before, <laughs> right before the fight because I've like, had something go. Because it, it's yeah. like it's, it's off. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> it's off, but it's on. Yeah, <laughs> it's on again. Yeah. So this is. It. And yeah, what a fight that was with Will Sutton at Will Sutton, uh, yeah. UC 12. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was big for my confidence too. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. I think um, he took the, sh- the fight on short notice. Obviously, he was training for a fight for that night, mm-hmm. but I think it was for middleweight. Mm-hmm. The fight got cancelled, so he probably put some weight on. But I think he was still sp- um, fighting or yeah. training. Um, Did you know you'd, you'd hurt his leg in that first round? I did. I, <laughs> I sat down at the first at the first round, and I was looking at him. We stood up. Yeah, and I was looked. And I was like, "What the fuck is that?" It's <laughs> a baby on his leg. I couldn't yeah. believe it. Yeah. yeah, I couldn't believe he kept going. Because I know, like, I knew, I knew when I he kicked me, like I'd faked a leg kick, and he's like, "Oh yeah," and he kicked me as hard, like pretty hard, and I checked it, <laughs> and I, f- you know, like mm. when you you feel the like how hard it was, but it doesn't hurt at all. I'm like, "Oh, that hurt." <laughs> yeah. that hurt. I'm looking at it, I'll put it out and I was like that stinks doesn't it? <laughs> and then I then I put it on and I think that's what started to, I think that's how I won the fight there mm. was like that gave me a good few moments after that fight and I got to got the ball rolling uh, mm. got the momentum so I saw it it was on his rear leg it was on his shin if it was his front shin I would have should have I would have been hitting the, I was hitting the calf kicks anyway mm. but it was his rear leg if it was his rear leg I would have still been able to do something with it but rear calf um yeah. I'm, I'm putting myself it, yeah. in danger if I'm trying to kick his rear calf. Yeah, mm-hmm. for sure. You have to run around behind yeah, him. Yeah, do some. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and what I was doing was working. So. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Amazing fight that was. Yeah. Yeah. But thanks to the Tango, that dude was tough. Mm. Um, if I, I, I was a little bit unsure about my cardio from the first fight. I was like, I don't want to. So I, if I really like emptied the gas tank, I could have finished him probably in a more spectacular way on yeah. the feet. But um, pace yourself. I think, yeah, pace myself. Um, he went for a throw, landed on top, and pounded him out. Got stoppage at like ten seconds to go. Yeah, and I think it was just he was he just got tired and he yeah. couldn't move. He sort of, he got stuck where where my legs were. He got stuck, mm. and I think he's gone like I just don't have it to roll over and scramble. Yeah, so I got the stoppage there. Yeah, but his last fight. I know this dude looks small, but he fucking hits hard. <laughs> <laughs> I was think, thinking it was going to be more of the same, like more of just me being able to pick pick him apart. He's shorter than me. I'm going to pick him apart as he comes in. I knew, we knew like Samoan dudes, they've, like, they've got hard heads. They're just going to come in and they're going to throw. They tend to gas out. Mm. I was like, okay, so I'm just going to have to keep my hands up, um, probably wear a couple, but sting him with something. Mm. And then after a couple of minutes, like make it a – little bit like he, he gets a little bit desperate has to throw a lot and then get tired mm. and then he just wouldn't slow down <laughs> um and his punches yeah, his punches were still just as heavy just get harder. Like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, sitting in the at the end of the second round like he's like right he's so he's tired now i was like oh, uh, i don't think he i is. hope so <laughs> <laughs> yeah the, the, the roof came off the place with, with that fight. And, and what is it like when you're in the middle and, and the, the, the crowd are just going nuts and it's just a huge exchange and you're either on the end of that or you're giving it, like, uh, how does that feel in those moments? You know, I'm so in, I'm so focused that I don't really notice. You don't? I literally don't hear anyone except for I've got Mark in the front row yeah, and I've got my corner and I've got his corner. Mm-hmm. And that's all I can hear. I can hear Mark because he's standing right there and, yep. he, and he knows what he's saying. So he's calling out a few things. I can hear my corner because like, you can hear him from a mile away yep. and he's got a distinctive voice yep. and I'm in his corner so I can hear his corner. <laughs> the crowd's going crazy but I don't. you can't really notice it. Yeah. Some people, I think they feed off it. Yeah. 
I let it get to me a little bit in the second fight, in my mm-hmm. second fight against Will. Yeah. Um, and the crowd was going nuts. So I started unloading and yeah. <laughs> blew my wad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the adrenaline, the adrenaline jump. Yeah. So, so is it, there's a lot, of, a lot to the craft of, of uh, fighting in front of a big crowd as well, isn't there? You know, because you, uh, of of the fights that you've had, they've, they've all been sellouts. They've been big occasions, apex. Yeah. There's thousands of people yeah. there, and yeah. and and you're you're you know center of the cage, and yeah. uh, and you know the the focal point of all of that attention in that yeah. moment. I thought I thought it would get to me more than it does. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Yeah, you thrive on it. Yeah, yeah. I, maybe, yeah. maybe. Uh, yeah, I was like, I think you, there's too much. Like, there's too much that can happen in a fight that to worry about that. Yeah. So it's I fight. I definitely fight better when people are watching. Yeah. I think. Um, and, and what's the effect of you fighting on on family on your girlfriend, for instance? Like, and and, and how do they feel like before the fight? Does yeah. your girlfriend come to the fights? For girlfriend instance, girlfriend comes to the yeah. fights. Yeah. yeah. My mum comes to fights. Mum comes. As Mum's well. yeah. My mum is um, my biggest supporter. Yeah. Um, she's my biggest help too. She's Wonderful. like good for my my mental. Um, yeah, she helps me with everything. She just has the right thing to say always. Yeah. And it's always fight week where I anxiety like sort of comes and goes. Mm. Um, and, and you're dieting. Yeah, and, and I'm know, dieting, and I'm, not so much this last one. The last one was all right. I, I didn't get nervous at all until I walked in the building and then I was like, oh, f- yeah, I remember this feeling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, my mum's just always got the right thing to say. She's always, yeah, she's always there for me. Um, my dad, I, th- I think he's still not sure about the fighting because yeah. I, th- I think he still thinks I'm a bit of a wuss. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So he's like, I just don't know if he's tough enough. I don't know. Did he go to the last fight? <laughs> <laughs> was there, this is actually pretty cool. My dad was, um, he works away, he's FIFO, um, and he wasn't going to be able to make it. Um, and then my fam, my like basically like my whole that side of the family was like, we're not going to make able to make this one. And then I walk out of the cage after the fight, and they're all sitting there. Oh, like, what? That's oh, awesome. well, yeah. So yeah, uh, I think my dad's. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. We don't really talk about that. But, yeah. Um, yeah, I still think he, he. The way he looks at me, he's like he's still a bit unsure. <laughs> My dad's um, Maori and he's, I think he expects to see like, he has a word for, I don't speak their language, but Mm -hmm. he has a word for it. And he's like, it's like the the fire. Mm. He's like, I just haven't seen like the dog in you yet. Oh, yeah, right. He said that. He's like, I've seen it in your brother. I was like, oh, thanks. (laughs) (laughs) Um, But I haven't, yeah, I just haven't, haven't seen that in you yet. Yeah. Like, did you watch the? Oh, fight? I got a, I got a feeling <laughs> I saw it that night. I yeah. Can, yeah, I can show you. <laughs> yeah, so that um, that last fight definitely brought something out of me for sure. But I had to dig deep. Um, I think I won the first one, won, won the first round. But to me, I felt like I lost the first round because I ended up on the bottom. Mm. And um, he hit me with a big shot. They cut me same cut. It's just going to open up every fight. It, it's out of the way, so yeah. it's fine. And. Blood seems to turn me on a little bit. So, yeah. um, so now I've got that kink. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> but um, the second round, I can't remember a whole lot about, but I remember being like on the back foot a lot. Mm-hmm. So I was like, I'm pretty sure I lost that round too. Mm. So, so in your mind, you're going in, into in my that. in my in my mind. Watching it back, I was like, for sure, won the first round. Yeah. The second round, I'm prob- I could have even won. Mm. Um, the third round is the same thing, like back and forth. Yeah. And then he shoots and I'm um he shoots a takedown and I sprawl and just trying to force things before they're there, mm. try to spin and take the back and he catches it. Just like little things that I would never do in training. Like, yeah. Like block the arm, get the back, take the back. Mm. Um, but just trying to like getting a little bit desperate and bang, trying to force something, catches my leg, takes me down. Yeah. Um some I, he he didn't look tired, but then in the scramble he just wasn't moving, mm. and I was like, "Oh, I've this I've is, got something here." Yeah. Scrambled, take his back, and I think that's what won me, won me the fight. Mm. So I was attacking off my back for the last probably minute. He yeah. took me, then he reversed it, and then I reversed him and ended up on top. Yeah. Ended a good shot after the bell, got that. Mm. But um, <laughs> not on feathers. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, the 
like then I hear the crowd. Like yeah. after, like, after <laughs> fights over, then I, like as I'm walking out and after fights over, yeah. And there's there is no other feeling. There's <laughs> there's just like there's no better feeling to getting your hand raised at the yeah. end. Did you think you had won at the end after the third round? Yeah, but Went you never know. You never yeah. know. Too. You <laughs> I was, get cool. Yeah, I was like, that's it's a close, it's a close fight. Um, these judges, there was some not too accurate judges that night. I was like, I'm not sure. I look over at my mm. corner. There, there, yeah. there was some, yeah. The yeah. commentators made mention of it uh, yeah. during the course of the night. Some of the yeah. decisions were. I didn't watch. I didn't. I don't watch the fights when I'm there, but. Mm. Um, I watched like my teammates' fights, but yeah. I didn't watch any others. But everyone was like, "Oh, I'm not sure about that one." Mm. Greg, my training partner, Greg, comes in. And he's like, "Finish the fight, both mm. of you. Finish the fight because there's uh, these judges are there like, on something tonight." Mm. So yeah, I look over in my corner and I was and I was like, I was trying to be like, "What do you think? What do we think?" And they're mm. not looking at me. <laughs> I was like, "Oh no!" Because <laughs> but the fight was so good that I didn't care. But, yeah. I, like obviously I want to win, but I don't really care if I win or lose mm. as long as like, I do my best. And mm. I'm, if I do my best and I perform as well as I know I can, yeah, then I don't care if I win or lose. I'll, I will win if I if I perform how I know I can perform. I'll I'll win if well, I can it, if I can show up every fight. I don't think I'll ever lose. Mm. Mm. But it, it didn't it, it didn't look like you left anything um any anything there was nothing left in. You know, on the table there, it was a, it was all just mm. you know, out in the field from both in of the us. Cage. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that's and I think that's what the crowd really responded to. Yeah. You know, had you yeah. know, you had uh, two young athletes giving yeah. it their absolute all to the nth degree, right to the last second of the fight. And, yeah, uh, and 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 at any moment it could have gone either way, and that 100%. night it was your not, it was that's your what, night. Yeah, that's what my girlfriend was saying. She's like, I knew you were winning, but like. <laughs> Anyone at any time looked like they were, and he was hitting me clean, but mm. not a big, head, big, strong forehead. I think Since strong working. skull. Yeah, yeah. nice. <laughs> hit me with a few good overhands. Yeah. And I, there was a flurry in there where he's hit, hit me with like three punch combo, mm. and I'm against the cage. I'm trying to move, I move into it, move into it, move into it. <laughs> I've got, I was like, I've got to switch on because yeah. he's because they don't hurt, so yeah. you don't know that you're in trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, but I'm like, I've got to switch on because he's going to put me out if yeah. I if I cop too many of these. Yeah. Uh, and the judge's opinion as well. I yeah, think, you know, yeah. yeah. Against you. yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm not really thinking about that. But, <laughs> yeah, but absolutely. yeah, absolutely. No, good fight. What, what do you think about to. the the 10-9 system in, in MMA scoring? Do you think it needs adjusting or are you happy with it? Do you think there should be something different? I, I think it works if I judge. <laughs> I, think, I, think it does, I think it doesn't work when you get people that don't – that aren't like – Proper, uh, proper fans judges, of the right. sport. Yeah, yeah. 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 I think you get a judge that's a judge for a different, for boxing. maybe kickboxing or boxing. boxing yeah. And then the fights, or even ju- if it's just boxing, and then there's a lot of kicking and there's a lot of checks. Right. They're like, I don't think they understand that yeah. checking a kick is as beneficial as like landing a good exactly. Punch. That's right. It's like slipping yeah. a jab. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. They don't. And um, the finesse in rolling around on the ground, I don't think they quite understand. So unless you're really like cranking something or laying into them, they might not – they're just going to assume. And you can attack off your back. And like I was, I've been on top of people and been like, um, like I can't do anything. Mm. I can't posture up because he's going to sweep me. I can't, I can't try and pass. He's going to catch something. He's just attacking me. I'm on top of him, but I'm defending the whole mm. time and mm. it's all his world. Mm. But – According to some judges, I'm winning. Yeah, yeah, because you know? you've got top position. Yeah. I don't really agree with. Like this last fight, I was I was attacking off my back. Um, he wasn't really he he couldn't throw because he knew as soon as he'd posture up that I was going to move. Yeah, so he's sort of laying on me. I think um, the judges understood that he wasn't really getting a whole lot off. Mm. But some judges would have said. Yeah, he's but he's there. Yeah. So so rare to see. Uh, did you see uh, Bass Rutten, Kevin Randleman uh, when they fought? Uh, that was uh, um, Kevin Randleman had top position the entire fight. Yeah, they gave it to Bass Rutten. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Wait, what? Yeah, it depends on the organization, I guess. But was UFC? So, was it UFC? Yeah, was it? Yeah, it was early many moons ago. Yeah. Many moons ago. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, maybe it was Pride. I don't know, but it was um, it was a long time ago. Yeah, it was. Uh, I was like, how the fuck? Uh, anyway. 
Brendan so, wasn't happy. I wasn't happy. <laughs> so I can't really speak on the judging, but some people are like, there's, a, nah, I haven't heard anyone come up with a bit of better solution. Yeah. You know, it works for me. It's what we're used to now. So mm. if it changes, then the whole game changes. Mm. What about with, the uh, with Pride where they would, they would judge the fight as a whole and they would say, who do you think won as mm. opposed to round by round? I thought that was quite interesting the way they would do that. Yeah. But then it depends who you get. Like, um, cause then half the people would be like, but he won the first half mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. half of it will be like, yeah, he beat him up. But like the last minute, the other guy was like yeah, putting you tend- him to pieces. Mm-hmm. So you does that remember- mean he won? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You tend to remember yeah. what happened yeah. last. Yeah. You know? You're so- basing it a lot more on damage there and it would be, yeah. you know, somebody, if somebody was cut and bleeding, then, mm-hmm. you know, obviously they'd, they'd be like, well, we're not going to win. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so now after a few fights, you're 25 years old. Do you, you do, do you have a in your mind like uh, this will I'll fight until I'm 30 or 35 or Greg's in his very late 30s, almost yeah, 40? I think he's, yeah. He might be something. 30 something. Yeah, 30 doesn't he? he yeah. well, he's, he's coming off a win as well, isn't he? He, he yeah. was looking at – you went down to a light heavyweight. Mm, yeah. And uh, I think his next opponent is Joe Brown, I think. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's probably a different one. There's a few of us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like everyone, yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah. So you, you you've got a great example there in a fighter, but but also Greg did come to fighting much later in in his life uh, too. So do you do you feel like there's an optimal um, period that you can fight at a at a high level or at a level that you'd feel comfortable with before? Um, I I don't see age as um, a reason to stop. I think a lot of young people I think say it, things. Like so, <laughs> but I think of it as um, like I feel youthful, and if I feel how I feel now when I'm forty, well, then I'm not really. Like, I'm forty years of age, but mm. there's different people. Their bodies are different at forty than mm. other people are at forty. Yeah, yeah. like Randy Couture, you know. Yeah, some. Mm. Yeah, you know. It's so, and um, I think the. Biggest thing is some people fall apart when they've used enhancements Be- when they were younger. Performance enhancers. And they seem to, you know, seem things seem to fall, fall apart when they're like mid thirties. Mm. And I'm like then you see people that have never used anything and they seem to just be they seem youthful yeah. at thirty eight. Mm. So yeah. So it's all about how you look after yourself when you're young. Absolutely. Mm. Yeah. It's so almost like as, um, you were saying before with that strength and technique. Thing you know, if somebody is using performance enhancers and it, their strength is way above what it would be naturally, uh, maybe they're winning their fights based on that strength boost, mm. as opposed to having superior technique. Um, and then, but later in life, when you know they're older and it's like those either they're not on those enhancements because the organization has changed the rules or they're not as effective. Um, you know, now they have to rely on technique, and it's like they start losing. And it's like, well, were you as good as? Yeah. yeah, you see some people go through and blast through people. Um, so I'm sort of a casual in like UFC. Like I'll, I always watch the main events and I I like watch – there's a fighter that I like. I watch all of their fights like <laughs> Cowboy and yep. Sugar Sean and um, Overeem. Yeah. They're like my – they're my three favorites. And I'll, I've seen every single one of their fights. I've probably watched them all like 10 times each fight. Overeem's one of yeah. our favorites. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I've spoken Uber, about Overeem a few times. Yeah. <laughs> um, but there's um, Cody Garbrandt's one that I think of where you watch someone who just starches people in like mm. a minute mm, yeah. and then has a bad turn and is now fighting the guys that are like at the top. Mm-hmm. And he's fast. He's good. But even me as an amateur can pick a few things that I was like, oh, if I saw myself fight like that, I would try and fix that. Mm. Um, and it makes you think, like, is it some things at that point, is it just too far gone? Is it like teaching an old dog new tricks? Mm. Or, and you think, like, did they just, did it work for them until mm. it didn't? And now it's too late to. Mm. So mm. I think I've been, uh, I think it's a good thing that I've, I've had three fights, but I've had, they've all gone pretty well to the distance mm-hmm. one of them 10 seconds shy of the distance yeah. and i've had i've got teammates that have for um so there's a teammate of mine jed 
mm-hmm. who's fought, I think he's fought four times now. Mm. But two of his fights were really short. Mm. I can't remember. If he, but, you know, that, like same thing, like someone will have like five fights, but yep. they finish them all in the first round. Mm. Yeah. Have you, like, you've had five fights, but it's different to having five, like being in the cage. Yeah. And just like every second you're in there, you're learning. Mm. It's like, it's like the that. learning that I get for 10 weeks of training and the learning I get for three mi- or 10 minutes in the cage mm. is like the same. Mm. Yeah. yeah, It almost be frustrating to, to go through, say, three months of a training camp, go out and win in 10 seconds. I mean, yeah, it'd be great, but it's like, I didn't really learn anything from that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's yeah. like landed an overhand right and walked away. It's like, do I, why did I do 12 weeks of training? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for it's, that one yeah. moment. That's yeah. right. Yeah. It's good to... Well, it means I'll never slack off in training because yeah. I know, like, statistically, mm. I'm going to need it. Yeah, you know. Um, but I think the hopefully the hard fights are behind me, and I start getting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you, know? you do for some. So, is the yeah. goal to, to turn pro ultimately? Is that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I told myself it would be three fights, and then I would assess. Yeah. Um, and I had the opportunity to go to pro before this fight, um, and I was I was talking it up. I was talking, talking it through with one of my training partners, and I was like, "What do you, like, what do you reckon? Should I take like, after the short notice fight? I got opportunity to take on the the main event mm-hmm. or the co-main event, mm-hmm. and I was at a, as a pro fight at Apex, and I was like, I could do it, but I just, I don't like. I know how much I learned in my last fight, yeah, and every if every time I'm learning that much, I'm in no rush." Mm. Yeah. yeah. So, so now I'm looking. I was like, I want a couple good, good wins. Get some good momentum. Like yeah. I know these were good wins, but some dominating wins. Get yeah. some momentum, and then, and then well, consider- maybe if I knock someone out, and that's, that's better than me. Yeah. I'll knock them out in 30 seconds. I'm like, okay, I'm ready to go. Yeah. But I think a little bit at the moment depends on who's around. So who's- you're kind of looking for that feeling within yourself more than any kind of uh, mm. external recognition yeah. 100%. or yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, which is something I didn't realize until I started fighting. Yeah, I, I don't know why I started, but I'm starting to learn why I need to follow follow your instincts and keep yeah. moving in the. Yeah. Well, we, we've got uh, a longevity expert or uh, enthusiast uh, joining us very very shortly on the podcast. Yeah. So uh, enthusiast, kick me out. Dan is one of the most knowledgeable people uh, I know on on this particular subject. Um, how are we going to queue, queue him in? Yeah, we can end this one and then start off a new one. I'll just want. just press the button and go. All yeah, right, yeah. cool. All right, well, we'll, we'll, oh, we'll do. Should we? Would you like to do a little bit of an outro for uh, our special guest, jo- oh, this, Joe yeah. the Vanilla Gorilla? Jo- Joe the Vanilla Gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> the well, nickname is good because the my name is so short. Yeah. So the ring announcer needs something to hold <laughs> on to. Right, to yeah. yeah, yeah, you yeah. Can't scream, Joe Brown. <laughs> 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 well, uh, well, well, we'll we'll tie this up formally, and then we'll move straight into our next podcast. So, uh, well, well, thank you very much for for joining us, Joe, for for sharing your story with us, and and um, I'm I'm really excited for what the future brings. You know, when it is the time's right for you to turn pro, I I hope to be there, mate. I hope to be ring announcer at that fight, and I, I can't wait for the moment, mate. So, uh, so thanks so much for you coming into the podcast, and uh, wish you all the very best of luck in the in the fights to come. Yeah, thanks very much. Thanks for having me. This is this is cool. It's my first one, so yeah, it's good fun, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Same with Matt. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so ladies and gentlemen, I don't actually work here. <laughs> Joe, the vanilla gorilla brown. All right. <laughs>